Hi guys, welcome to today's Paracord tutorial. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Jalen. With Jurassic Styles. Uh, today we will be showing you how to make this bracelet, which is um, like a bootstrap technique. And we will use uh, buckles. So, first of all, you will need, uh, we're going for about a six and a half inch uh, bracelet. So um, I have about six feet of orange and about six feet of camo hair cord, which I've gone ahead and cut already. You will need a buckle. You can get these at any hobby store. We will include a link to these products at the end. Um, and if you choose to order, please note that we do earn a small commission as associates. And also, I have here my jig. You do not need to use these, uh, but as I've mentioned before, it does make things a lot simpler. So to start, we're gonna go ahead and take two of our ends of paracord and join them into one. So take my lighter, hopefully the wind cooperates with us because we decided to record outside today. We'll go ahead and melt these a little bit on each. Take your ends, put them together, careful not to get burnt, and give it a quick roll between your fingers, and you should come out with something that looks like that. Okay. And I also like to take the very end of my paracord and also seal these just because it makes it easier to work with so do that all right so now we can go ahead and get started First thing you want to do is take the middle here of your bracelet where you join the paracord. You can twist it just a little bit off to the side. <clears throat> take any end of the buckles, does not matter which. You will take your paracord and the buckle, put it through, bring it over. And tighten it. <clears throat> now, um, when I do mine, I like to actually have, as you can see here, four pieces of paracord on there because I just think it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, you don't see the black piece of the bracelet showing through. So, if you want to do that, it's very simple. You just take your end of the paracord. Loosen this just a tiny bit and pull this through. And down. And then just pull it all the way through. Okay. And we will repeat that with the other side here as well. Just make a little opening, put that through, and bring it down. Perfect. We have a nice little beginning part there. So I'm going to take and attach this here. Take your other end and also attach it. 
Now we're going to get this end ready to work as well. So the first thing we want to do is take our two ends of paracord. I do apologize for the super loud wind. I thought it would be quieter out here. Um, okay, so we're going to take our ends and put them down through the buckle. Pull all of that through. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side so that we have four, what looks like four, um, to fill the bracelet space. So for this one, you don't have to do anything special. Just um, bring this in, put your end through one more time, and pull that all the way through. Like that. Repeat with the orange. Pull it through. And you should have that. Okay, so this is the side that we're going to start working with. So I will flip this over. And you should have one string on each side that we're going to work with. So for the bootstrap, you want to make the shape like an S here. And then we will bring the camel over all of this underneath and up through this opening. Pull that through. And we can start to tighten. I seem to have gotten this tangled here. Um, oh, there it is. Just pull it. <laughs> okay, so as we tighten this, you just want to bring that up a little bit. Yeah. And that'll be our beginning, and then we'll continue to repeat this. Make an S. Bring the paracord over and up through. And always push this up. Now, as we keep going, it's going to start to get that pattern that you saw in the bracelet I showed at the beginning. So again, make your S, bring it over, and pull through. Make sure that you're giving them about the same um, amount of pull every time, otherwise you would end up with a lopsided bracelet, and of course you don't want that. So just make sure that all of your knots continue to be about the same amount of tightness. And I'm just going to keep working this down so I can show you how to finish it off. Now, of course, if this feels like it's too much work or too hard and you prefer to just get them 
pre-made, you can always just visit our Facebook shop. We'll have the link in the bio as well, and we'll be happy to just make one for you in any color that you choose. We do have a, eh, I think we have pretty much every color available. So keep that in mind if it feels like it's too hard to make. No, because it's on wire. Alright, so we're almost done here. So you want to continue to do this all the way down as far as you can and then we'll go ahead and seal off our ends and you'll have your finished product. Again, please remember to check the links in our description um, for any supplies that you might need. You can find great prices on any of these products and also on our Facebook shop where we sell our creations um, like these bracelets and our uh, polymer play dragons and necklaces t-shirts all that jazz all right so <laughs> sorry all that jazz is apparently Jalen's phrase she just shot me the look All that jazz has been around way longer than you, Jalen. <laughs> Just so you know. No. Oh, yes it has. Alright, so I'm going to do about one more here. Just squeeze that. And pull this guy up through. Okay. We're going to go ahead and remove our snaps, or buckles, I'm sorry, from the jig. And here we have our 
bracelet. You can make any adjustments at this point. Um, if you're happy with it, we'll go ahead and take our scissors. And cut. This is the point of no return here. That cut. And I'm going to go ahead and seal this one first. Make sure you can see. Just, this wind is not really cooperating with me. I'm sorry. So that's about what you want to go for. You don't want to burn it. And then you'll just press into the lighter. It should look something, somewhat like that. I'm going to do it just a little bit more since the wind died down. Take this one and also cut it and close. I like to leave just a little bit, not too much. And again, press. There we have our sealed ends and our lovely bracelet. There we go. Now I have two. Alright, so that is how you make the bootstrap bla uh, bracelet. I suddenly can't talk. Um, again, if you liked this tutorial, Please go ahead and uh, hit that like button down below and also subscribe to our channel. We do appreciate your support. Make sure to check out our shop. And also please make sure to check out our shop. Thank you again for watching and have a great rest of your day. Again, this has been Stephanie. And From Jurassic Styles. I don't think you heard Jalen, but Jalen was here too. <laughs> yes, I am. Bye. Bye.